like a good wallop. Are the cops fully gone? The the, the police officers have indeed left. Good that you were checking, because Ranger wasn't. Someone asked. Uh, that. mind if I take a swing? Sure. All right. Let's see, is that uh I know we're not supposed to say numbers, but is that... What would the weapon mod be for that hammer? Uh, the weapon modifier is only plus one in your hands. Alright. I make a shameful plink and hand it back. My hand, <laughs> my head hung in shame. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> okay. Or would that have been weaponry or uh, larceny? Weaponry. Oh, one more die. The plank is equally shameful. <laughs> no. <laughs> Three successes. Hala, you smash the lock off of its hinge. And as you guys all head in, Jordan, the gate has begun to shrink. Does the noise it's like a gate. I mean, it looks can like I, I, I identify it because I only need to identify it by sight. What's it made of? Uh, it's made out of phlebotanum. Phlebotanum. <laughs> my favorite. No, I don't. That was my favorite. <laughs> um. <coughs> so yeah. What the hell? Huh. Uh, in any event, uh, the gate starts shrinking. don't know if that's good or bad until like pretty 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 rapidly not incredibly rapidly until it is eventually um what the hell eventually. until is it event it is eventually very small Smaller than a bread box. Smaller than a bread box. And it sinks down <coughs> to the floor, and something pops out of it. And that something is small and black and misshapen. I look at it with my aura sight. What do I see? Um, there is a roll. Oh, patches. <laughs> Oh, I don't know at what point it happened, but apparently the recording stopped. No. No. My ass. All right, uh, give me an intelligence plus composure plus empathy roll. Minus, you get a penalty on this. E, minus, uh, minus four. Okay. <laughs> This creature has an inscrutable Three successes. Aura. Three successes. It is a... It is a crow that is uh, encased in fiery violet. Violet is the color of being excited. So it's a crow that's very excited? Well, I mean, it looks like a crow. It's not a crow, though. You can tell. Uh, using identification. Nah, no, that's just gonna tell me what it's made. Of. It's just it's it, it, it's made out of crow parts. It is an incredibly ugly bird. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Hi. Oh. It's adorable. Rain crouches down and like holds out both hands like she's a baby seeing a cat. Don't touch me. Okay. <laughs> Rain takes a big step back. Well, it talks. Are you supposed to be uh, the welcoming committee? I tried to welcome you. I guess so. You're not very welcoming. 
most people would present a carcass of some sort. We were uh, drawn can, to can, I, can I roll to, to produce something from my pockets for the crony? Um, roll, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me look at your sheet. Um, uh, roll uh, wits and survival. I have one success. You have a dead squirrel in one of your bags. Oh, good. <laughs> Rain gently sets down the dead squirrel in front of the crow. This is a very good start. Rain smiles. Um, he feverishly devours this squirrel carcass. He looks like an ancient one-eyed crow with matted feathers and eyes like beads of obsidian. When his disfigurements become plain, his feathers bleed darkness and his eyes like a pit into which a person could fall forever. I should mention, the the power of this being's Azoth is not overwhelming, but it's very powerful. Like... This thing's Azoth is more powerful than all of your Azoths put together. In a being so small. Does that have any negative effect on us? No. Okay. I mean, in the end, he is still just a crow. I harvest the Azoth! I'm just... So, uh... What brings you all here? You, I, uh, guess. Why are we here? Oh, you flatter me. Uh, I was brought here in the promise that I would find a great tutor. Anyone who has it, uh, roll intelligence in a cult. Ooh, uh, Jordan, you get a plus two bonus on this. I have specialty Promethean in a cult. Will that help? Uh, yes, but you also get an additional plus two bonus from your eidetic memory. Like, if you uh -huh. had seen this, you would have remembered it. Okay. Oh, sorry, I keep really closing good. the dice box. Never close the dice box. Never. It's just, it's fun to close, it's got a little latch. Plus intelligence? Plus intelligence. That's quite a lot. Wow. One. Eight dice and one success. Jesus. Congratulations. One. This thing is clearly a Promethean, but who would be mad enough to resurrect a crow and why? Now that you think about it, how did number one how did someone make this so how did someone make this being number two how would it sire a creation that's the real question that's the kicker that's that's the kicker right there that being said you 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 have like that that that's all you can think of I don't suppose any of you happen to be a miracle worker. Sorry, no. Nope. I don't think so. Uh, what sort of miracles do you mean? Why, you must have been raised yesterday. I mean to turn lead into gold. If, if crows could smile, this one does. I do not think that is within my domain. I wouldn't know where to start. Uh, pardon me for being the uh, epitome of foolishness to inquire, but 
but whom do we have the pleasure of meeting today? I used to come up with a different name every year, but quite frankly, it's just been too frustrating to keep track of them all. I just call myself Great Grandfather Crow now. Well, that's a fitting name. Title. What was that? I asked, well, he's, he's great grandfather Crow, so are all the crows outside his family? No. What? No. N no. I, I don't know if you know this, but we can't have kids, boy. And on that line, the great murder of crows disperses, cawing like mad. As swiftly as they had come, they they disperse. So were you calling the shots to get them to bring us here, or... Uh, no. This is much a coincidence for you. I was brought here uh, by... They're called Quashmaleem? You probably haven't heard of them. Uh, Have I heard of Quashmaleem? I don't know. Roll, roll, intelligence in a cult. You don't get the Promethean bonus, though. Okay. Anyone who wants to know if they've thought of, if they've heard of Quashmaleem, roll intelligence in a cult. Do I get a plus two for dietetic memory? Nah. Okay. What they're, they're, they're not as, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not as well known as Great Grandfather Crow is. Well, then I wouldn't have an idea. Uh, hold on. Two rerolls. Two successes. So, Angel is just the word that that they that they use. It means messenger. It, it it's supposed to mean like a messenger of God. A Quashmalim doesn't mean messenger. It means changer. One who changes things. And Quashmalim are made of Azoth. 100% Azoth. All Azoth, oh, all the time. Uh, a Quashmalim said that I would find a great tutor who would help me finish my great work if I went to a certain area of a certain town at a certain time on a certain day and I did and now I'm here and now I'm talking to the four of you what color was this quad Malin? green uh, rain pulls out the little ziploc baggie this green that green Did you did you cut off a piece of it? It was on a on a graffiti in a it's in a bathroom. I think. Wait, could I see that for a second? Can I just identify what is that? Is that is that just paint? Uh, 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 give me give me an intelligence and crafts roll. <laughs> Two successes. It is essentially like a very difficult to synthesize paint. Okay. Sort of like the green equivalent of what that super black crap that they made up is. Sort of like the green equivalent of that super blue crap that they made. Super some guy black. made a color. No, no. Some guy made a color of blue, a shade of blue that never fades. Whoa. Um, and like. I think this filmmaker was like going blind from a tumor and so he like oh man uh, there's an entire movie about this shade of blue like blue is the main character of this movie and it's just a blue screen with with the with the director narrating it's very strange <laughs> 
But, the, but that shade of blue was like specifically synthesized from certain materials that mean that it will never fade. Ever. Whoa. This green was created in the same way. <coughs> well then. So, uh... I assume you guys don't know what's going on either. Nah, that'd be a negative. Mm -mm. <sighs> well, so he called the four of you, and he called me, and none of us knows what's going on. That leads me to the conclusion that He's going to keep calling people until he finds the right people he needs to do whatever it is that he's doing. And he'll probably promise us anything that we want in exchange for it. Sorry, you guys don't seem like the great tutors who will help me finish my, uh, my grand work. Pardon me if I assume. So you're talking about turning lead into gold. Uh, figuratively speaking, yes. Oh. The great work, the ascension of humanity, the formation of Azoth into something greater than the sum of its parts. Jackie immediately gets less interested once he hears this is figurative. <laughs> <laughs> He looks at his watch. How long do I have left on my parking meter? Oh god. That thing's probably expired by now. Oh shit. Oh sh G Guys, uh, shit. Do any of you guys have phone numbers? I don't have a phone. Neither do I. Hey. My place doesn't Jordan? have a phone line. Ah, uh, shit. You know what, uh... How about this? Uh, two days from now, uh... Hell, let's just meet at this park in two days, all right? Do you mean the warehouse? Uh, no, nah, park, park where, where we you first had met. Me. Okay. Two days, uh, I got some work to do. All right. I sprint to my, to my taxi and hope it didn't get towed. <laughs> <laughs> it did oh. not get towed. Like, you were able to dash there just in time. Like, you can see the meter maid coming. She's got that thing with the chalk on it, and she's, like, already hit your tire once. And you're like, oh, no. Oh, no. Not she's today, lady. She's coming towards, I just bound into the car, stuff my legs in, and just peel out. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, parasite! <laughs> <laughs> Get a real job! <laughs> um, in any event, uh, meanwhile, back at the warehouse, Great Grandfather Crow looks at you, Rain, and just says, You have any more carcasses? He's packed down in my pockets. He has picked that squirrel dry. Uh, let's see. I got one success. Yeah, the closest thing you have is a granola bar, and you don't think you don't think Great Grandfather Crow eats granola. I am out of carcasses. Well, can you get me some more? Do you want to come to the park? Uh, roll, roll, uh, roll, uh, wits and empathy. A chance die. Fantastic. <laughs> a four. A four? I don't know. You guess... I mean, the park <coughs> would be a good place to, like, I don't know, catch pigeons, but you're probably not quick enough to actually, like, catch pigeons or squirrels or animals or anything like that. Dude, man, yeah. you don't know. You don't know what's up with Great Grandfather Crow. He's weird. Well, when we meet up again, I'll uh, 
If I find carcasses, I'll bring them to you. Thanks. You're welcome. Will you be okay? Well, I mean, are we just gonna leave him here? I don't want to. It's fine. It's fine. I can forage for myself. I'm not helpless. I'm ancient, I... but I'm not helpless. This must be Thursday. Never get the hang of Thursdays. Could never get the hang of Thursdays. <laughs> Actually, it is Thursday. I had decided before the game began that it was Thursday. Just, you know, shit happens. In any event. Unless any of you have anything else, I'm just gonna go. I guess we'll see you in a few days. Bye. Are you just going to look for carcasses in your spare time? I mean... Look for carcasses, look, watch, listen, try to figure out what's going on. You guys should probably do the same. Being human and all, or at least human-shaped, there's probably lots of places you can go that I can't. What with the whole being a crow and such. Caw! <laughs> I'm just gonna back out of the room slowly. He flaps his wings and flies away through one of the windows. Giving him a thumbs up as I do. Give him, give him a Terminator-esque thumbs up. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Good job, guy. You, 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 buddy. In any event, now there are two. Uh, now there is a wretched and an Ulgin standing next to you. You guys want to get shawarma? What's shawarma? What's that? <laughs> They're so excited. I don't actually have any money. I was kind of hoping you guys would. Do any of you oh. have. Do any of you have dots and resources? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you guys are down to pocket change. Like, I... This I, is not a new thing for me. I, I made it here going on a canoe made of, like, pilfered materials. I found a motorcycle on the side of the road. It wasn't it just on the side of the road. Up. It was waiting for you. Calling <laughs> to you. Would Dots and Survival help at all? Dots and Survival will help you find carcasses if you feel like summoning Great Grandfather Crow. Is Great Grandfather Crow gonna pay me for the carcasses? Oh, fuck no. Well, then fuck where, that! Where would he keep his money? He's a crow. He has wings made of shadow stuff! <laughs> I don't know! Maybe he's got, like, pockets! <laughs> Maybe he has astral pockets. He came out of another dimension through a Man. great. Portal. I mean, I don't you care. I can eat carcasses In any event, I don't want dead bodies to not want more worms in me. Good protein. Behold the life of a Promethean. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Not just. Like, you know what? Yes, that that is the life of a Promethean. Just like, what the fuck do we do? In any event, you guys have two days. If there's anything else that you would like to do, that's cool. If there's nothing else you would like to do, then we can just skip to Saturday. 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 That being said, we are going to have to discuss where you guys are sleeping. Well, I have a lair. Sewers. Park bench. Uh... I can offer my lair to other people who don't want to s sleep on a park bench. I was about to say, Eco, it's dangerous sleeping on park benches. Disquiet yeah. generally turns, uh, you know, homeless people and uh, police officers who would not pay you any mind into frenzied mobs that mean to kill you. Then let's not do that. <laughs> like, you need to find someplace a little bit more secluded. Sewers are cool. 
That being said, even even with your incredibly mighty constitution rain, you might get sick down there. Not to mention the things that lurk down there. Can I use intelligence and craft to stick a handle on the inside of my trunk? Um, you can. Is your trunk just filled with dirt? That would be the plan if that were the case. Um, you could definitely rig something that allows you to open up the trunk from the inside. <coughs> I just could, and I fill my day. trunk with dirt and crawl in. That being said, you're going to wake up every day covered in dirt and filthy, and your clothes will be covered in dirt and filthy. Wait, isn't that mandatory, or can or does being encased in dirt mean I can just be underground and it counts? Uh, no. Like, you can't just, like, be in a tunnel. You have so to be, I do like, have to cover like, myself in dirt. You do need to be encased in earth. I'm just saying. If you don't have any clothes to change into... And I know you don't. Then... I spend some of my hard-earned cash on, clo on more clothes. Do you just, like, go to the thrift store and buy a change of clothes every day and just chuck your dirt-covered smock into the fucking dumpster? <laughs> No, I'm gonna event- Fuck, I can't put laundry in the back seat with my pass- Oh, shit. <laughs> and you can't put it in the trunk, shit. cause your trunk is filled with dirt! Outsmarted again! <laughs> I can't just hold on to all of my money! Damn it! It's almost like I'm gonna have to spend some to not be a spooky dirt man! <laughs> You know what? You know what? I'm rolling my wits. Give me one second. Give me one second. Aw, <coughs> uh, yeah. Two hits. I know how. I know what to do. I buy underwear, and then I just get... So I switch out underwear, sleep in underwear in my dirt trunk, and use YMCA showers. This'll get me by for a week before I get too fucking rank. For my passengers to stand me, but it's a week before I have to learn any life lessons and start spending money. <laughs> Until then, it's all hoarding all the time. Wow. I've huh? never seen someone work so hard to be so cheap. Oh no, you don't know. You don't know, Marty. You don't know about Willis's existence. Someone literally explained to him when they set him free that money is a correlation with worth. <laughs> that it's a direct relationship between the two. Oh. So as a result... Like, the exact phrase to use is that money is a measurement of worth to some people. And so Willis was just like, well shit, if I don't have money, I don't mean anything. Kind of true. <laughs> I spent like a whole month of doing this shit for free, getting paid in TV time. I gotta catch back up, baby. <laughs> we'll get to that some other day. In any event, that's how you live your life. Eco, uh, rain. For as long as I can sustain this stupid shit. <laughs> Eco, rain, you have two days that you need to spend out on the streets. Otherwise, you can go. You can, you can go with uh, Jordan to his creepy, creepy lair. It's a very creepy lair. It's incredibly creepy. Is there dirt there? Actually, um, uh, uh, um, uh, Jordan, do you just have like a, a an old disused bathtub just filled with fucking water? Uh, yeah. Sounds good. The water is getting filthy. But, you know, whatever. I have buckets up on the roof to try and collect more rainwater. Fantastic. Would it be, gaining, uh, be regaining one Pyros and uh, Pyros a night for <coughs> being immersed? Oh, you get, uh, no, okay, uh, so, let me look up the Azothic Dreams. So you gain one Pyros at the beginning of every day. 
Um, you gain one Pyros if you are out in the middle of a thunderstorm and you feel a thunderclap. Uh, and you gain, uh, you roll Azoth and Composure if you sleep for four hours in your chosen element. Each success gives you a Pyros. Azoth and Composure? Azoth and Composure. And I mean, like, when I say, when I say Nothing. Jordan's basement is creepy, I mean, like, you know, this, this creepy. Oh, God. I was gonna say no skins, no problem, but <laughs> then spooky face. Then oh. spooky face. Or you know, maybe this creepy. That's no worse than my cellar. You're so scared out of me. In any event. Jordan has invited you to his creepy basement. Do you decline or accept his invitation? I reluctantly accept. Don't it's, sugarcoat it. It's, it's, it's it, creepy and I don't like going underground. Why not? There's no way out. <laughs> that being said, like you need to crawl through a, a a window on the ground in an alley in order to enter this creepy basement. The rest of the building is horrifically abandoned. And condemned, I should mention. Great. <laughs> I still do it. Um Marty. Uh, Jordan, how long have you been staying down here, would you say? Uh, ever since I came to Chicago, which would have been a couple months now, I guess. A couple months? So, you ran water from one of the taps recently. Mm -hmm. And just because you were like, oh man, I gotta fill up the bathtub. Maybe the, maybe there's some water leaking leaking through. And what came out wasn't water. It was more like the consistency of baby oil. Ooh. And you were able to use your identify on it. And it's H2O. But something is distinctly wrong with this water. Yeah. Roll intelligence and occult. With, a bon with your Promethean bonus. What the fuck? Oh my god, no successes. You have no idea what's wrong with the water. What is wrong with the water? <laughs> All you know is that you shouldn't drink it. Thankfully, you don't have to drink the water, and thankfully, Wait, no one else in this building does either. Wait, it's plus two for the, uh, for the specialty? For the specialty, yeah. Okay, damn, yeah, no. All you know is that you shouldn't drink it. Thankfully, as a Promethean, you don't need to drink water, and you're in a condemned building, so... Mm -hmm. Whatever this is, it's not gonna hurt anybody. I feel like this would hurt a lot of normal people, though, if they tried to do something with it. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Like, this is this is water worse than, like... This is, this is worse than Flint, Michigan water. <laughs> This stuff is bad news. This stuff is bad news, Bears. Uh, I found a water bottle from somewhere, don't I? Yeah, you can just sort of have container. a water bottle and something. <coughs> I fill it up with the shitty weird water. Add, and, uh, okay, <laughs> add one ahead. bottle of tainted water to your inventory. Hooray, <laughs> got the tainted water. I'm going to take this to a... Uh, the water, I don't know, they would where would they test water? I don't know. You could just bring it uh, to any university and be like, this water is weird. Can you look at it under a microscope? And they'll be like, yeah, sure, kiddo. And you know then, what? And then I... they'll get wrecked with this quiet and try to kill you. Yeah, sure. What did I he could do probably... to that water? <laughs> I could probably do it. What did he do to it? And then you get labeled as a water criminal. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a concerned citizen. I, I 
opened it up a tap and this is what came out. What the fuck is this? <laughs> no, it's your fault. In any Anyways, event. I think I might do that though. Okay. Um, like go to the local university, one of the one of the low end ones. <laughs> one of the you, you go to the Chicago Community College. Yep. <laughs> University of Southern or uh, Southern Chicago Community Community College. Oh God, the Southern one is always worse. Um, uh, do you bring Eco with you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and Rain, do you do you decide to sleep in the sewers for the duration? Um. Yeah. You get viciously molested by bottle gnomes. But we'll get no! to that. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. <laughs> In any event, um, so uh, Jordan, you go to a, a university. It is a large building. It has many classrooms within it. The students give you funny looks because you look dirty and filthy. Because I am. <laughs> Shocker. Um, Iko, Jordan, where do you take this bottle? The chemistry department? You are able to successfully navigate a... Wait! Wait! Wait, Iko, you have map reading, right? Ew. Roll, roll wits and whatever skill you have map reading in. Survival! Roll that shit! You know how okay. to read a fucking map! Surviving in a university. Jordan, I can do this, like, really well! <laughs> Please do! <laughs> Single success! <laughs> now you know how I feel about the fucking water! Six <laughs> dice, not a single fucking one! <laughs> oh god! Okay, um, everybody. You're roll. lost in the university! We're gonna be picked up by fucking campus police at this this rate! <laughs> everybody, both of you two roll ass off. <laughs> Just one dice? Just one die. Oh no. Two! Eight! Okay. All right, so you got a success. That being said, the student body seems resilient to your disquiet. Because uh, fucking creepy student body. So it's a creepy student body, man. They're used to this sort of shit. It's a student body full of uh, tweakers who want to do meth and die. Or or Kyle oh. Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Cap. You got left out on that one. Or have you heard the tales of Kyle Robert Morrison? I have not heard the tales. He's like the worst person I've ever met. He, I mean, I've like, never met. met. Yes, no, yeah, you, you told me some shit about him. Like, I've never met a person who's been so universally hated by every single social group he associated with. He was so creepy, that's why. <laughs> I don't know, as a roommate, I could do whatever horrible thing I wanted and never feel bad when I was interacting <laughs> with him, so that was a plus. You had to live with this guy? Uh, yeah, uh, I was sent to room with, uh, Sean Quigley, who, uh, I found oh, out was not... Yeah, I, uh, found out he wasn't gonna room with me by, uh, being tagged in a Facebook post saying, Suddenly moving to Florida, who wants to live with Max? I'm probably better- I was probably better off with Kyle since he was never there, though. Uh, you know what? A Kyle who is absent is the best type of Kyle. Oh yeah, it, it was pretty great. Like, he'd show up and, like, ruin dishes and then go away. <laughs> yep. Yep, sounds like what he would do. So, uh, uh, Aiko. Yes? Make another survival roll. Okay. Survival versus Kyle Morris. One success. Two successes. Congratulations, you managed to find the chemistry department. Oh, thank God. It is a very old, disused, crappy, <coughs> shitty, pile of junk lab. Just like, you know, black tables with, like, un unassigned and unattended buns and burners next to them. You know, various various gas lines that all look like disused and dangerous. Are you just describing the chem lab from UMF? Yep. <laughs> Actually, I'm describing the chem lab from my high school, but you know, whatever. Fair enough. They were yeah, very similar. Almost blew up our chem lab with a Bunsen burner that came on. 
But I digress. Continue. Um, in any event, there's no one here to help you, but maybe you can make use of the lab yourself. Or you could call someone in and risk disquiet to ask for their assistance. You know how to work this stuff? Would this require... Okay, I have plus four investigation, but zero academics. This would be science. And... I have one in science. You do! Congratulations! You guys can do science! Give me an intelligence and science roll. Hell yeah. One success. Congratulations. This water is just incredibly tainted. With what? Uh, Anything? Like everything? Rust? Like, lot, lot, like, like, um, oh God. Like what color is it? Uh, yellow. Okay. Well, there's your first problem. Uh, l- l- let me look. Okay, so this, um, uh, I'm gonna look up contaminants in drinking water, and I'm going to uh, list off all of them. Okay. I got gotcha. you. All of the contaminants are in this. Arsenic, fluoride, selenium, uranium, iron, manganese, agricultural chemicals, urban pollution, byproducts of water treatment, and in- endocrine disruptors. I don't know what any of that means, but it's all in this shit. Jeez. Gross. Is it natural that all of that shit would just be in an unused water line? No, that is distinctly unnatural. Oh yeah. god, what the fuck? <laughs> like, so it's unnatural, then someone's... Okay, there's something going wrong with the water treatment, I would assume? Maybe make, we should head to the water facility. Make another intelligence and occult roll with your bonus in Promethean. I'm so glad I have that bonus because that saved my ass like three times now. I have no dots in the cult. I just have a good sense for Promethean thing. Three successes. Three successes? You realize what the source of the problem is. What is it? It's you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, Prometheans who stay in one place for too long uh, generate an effect called Wasteland. Uh, Thankfully, Wasteland is mitigated by the presence of mortals. It's only really bad when you're not, when you're out and about. Uh, It only only is really bad when you're out actually like in the wild. Um, Most of the other, the other buildings in your neighborhood or on your street are probably safe, but... um, the one that you are currently in, all the water in it will turn into that. Oh. Well, that's fine. It's just that one condemned building. Um, all Prometheans generate wasteland. It's different for every one. And it is cumulative, and it stacks on top of itself. It's a fuck shit stack. It's a stack of fuck shit on top of itself. Kitten. Anyway. Yeah, so that's bad. But... Yeah, I uh, take the bottle of water back with us. <laughs> no, just leave it lying around. I'm certain no one will find it, and anyone who finds it will certainly just be okay with it. I'm sure that, like, the local filtration systems are meant to deal with that sort of contaminants, and that's not gonna fuck up anyone's day if I pour that down the drain here. No, of course not. Dear God. So where would the... Uh, yeah, am I... Is the city gonna... Is that house gonna be leaching the water back? Probably not, because if it's... No, it's it's an empty line. Like, you were just able yeah. to grab the last bit of water from it. Gotcha. Fair enough. Okay, good. There. We're not, we're not hurting anyone. Crisis averted. Let's go home. Okay. That being said, now you both are aware of the wasteland effect. Roll for disquiet. Roll versus disquiet. Um, and you guys get the fuck out of the university before anything weird happens. Yay. Yeah, so the, the descriptions of wasteland are like some of my favorite descriptions ever. 
Wretched Wasteland Stage 4. Lightning storms rage constantly in the region, threatening lives and property, and widespread blackouts are a common occurrence. When portable electronic devices fail to work, they cannot be repaired or even properly diagnosed. The region might even be subject to an unexplained electromagnetic pulse. That's awesome. Muse Wasteland Stage 4. The wind ceases utterly to blow, which grinds windmills to a halt, becalms sailing vessels on the water, and even creates pockets of bizarrely low air pressure and at altitude. People lose their way on streets they've known all their lives, and the shapes of solid objects seem to warp and deform before their very eyes. What the fuck? <laughs> um, rainfall ceases entirely in the area, and the liquid that comes out of the tap has the consistency of baby oil and is equally palatable. Standing water clouds and uh, standing water clouds and turn stagnant in a matter of hours. And even naturally running water in rivers, streams, or springs is sluggish and oxygen poor, choking the fish below the surface and forcing them elsewhere. Mines run dry or collapse as if from exhaustion. Enormous sinkholes gape in the earth like greedy mouths, sucking up delectable treats. Topsoil becomes completely inert, and seemingly imperishable stone structures begin to crack or crumble at the touch. But it's very localized because you're in an urban area. The mortals are soaking up your disquiet. It's nice of them. Very kind of them. In any event, you head back to the place. Um, so, uh, Willis, you run into the YMCA to take a shower. Yep. Roll Azoth. No hits. Fantastic. You're able to take a shower in relative peace. All right, suit up in my clothes, head out, and do my taxi thing till it's time to meet up with those guys. Or taxi job and bludgeon the occasional street tough if the, mo if the opportunity presents itself. <coughs> All goes well. Uh, Rain, you were in the sewers. Yeah. I am. Make a wits of composure roll. Ooh, sorry, Zig. Ah! Sorry, cap's falling on my head. Three successes. Three successes? All tense. There's something down oh. here with you. You can hear it splashing in the water. It's trying so dearly to be quiet. What you're hearing is too keen for it. I'm gonna go say hello. I will track its soft splishes to the source of the splash. Oh, it is heading straight for you. You don't need to approach it if you don't wish. Hmm. Am I near a, a manhole cover? No. Nope. Alright, well that, that pretty much limits my options. I'll meet this sucker head on. Okay. able to see a crocodile's head swimming what? through the water. You appear to be face to face with a genuine sewer gator. Crocman Joni. Hmm. I feel as though my teeth and the crocodile's teeth should not be friends. Make a uh, reflexive dexterity and stealth roll. Mmm, delicious. Ah, oh, ten. Wow, you get ten agains. You got one success. 
Oh, a 10 and an 8. The 8 does not count as a success. Only 10s count as successes on a chance die. You manage to be kind of hidden, but this thing starts sniffing the air. And, um, the thing that flows out of its mouth is not a voice, but just a gurgle. A terrible, terrible gurgle. It is hungry. <laughs> um, <Where>? is it? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Cap said, I pooped. <laughs> <laughs> we both jumped. We were, we were spooked. Spooked. I was very spooky, yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So what is do you it? do, Rain? Uh, is it... So it was afternoon when we spoke to the crow. Yes. Is it that night, or just like shortly after? It can be whenever you want it to be. Because if I've had time to go to the park and the streets, my pockets are full of roadkill. Your pockets are indeed full of roadkill. I assume that you have been collecting them for Great Grandfather Crow for nothing else. I oh, have. Yeah. Yes. Um, do you try to placate this creature with red meat? I do. One second. I need to find an appropriate meme. Bad game, get memes. Uh, roll, uh, roll manipulation plus animal ken to play the to placate this creature with red meat. One success on success. two dice. <laughs> um, this creature starts snapping at the the various animal small animal corpses that you toss toward its waiting and gaping mouth and you can hear it it's making a noise as you fl i assume that you flee screaming through the sewers yeah like throwing corpses behind me as i go <laughs> <laughs> um you can hear it's uh Right, you, you can hear it's making a noise. Um, <sighs> and it soon dawns on you as you crawl into the light of day that it was something... The closest, the closest thing that it could have been was laughter. Oh, boy. Oh. That is what lurks in the sewers of Chicago. Okay. Oh, I should mention that its entire, like, you only saw its head, but its head was just completely white. Cool. I'm going to head to the park. Head to the park. <laughs> How long can Prometheans go without sleep? Um, a Promethean only needs to sleep for two hours a day or four hours every two days. Four hours every two days is uh, preferred. Uh, a Promethean with autonomic control can go without sleep for a very long time. Okay. So I can grab a, a cat nap in the grass and people would assume I'm just chilling there? They would assume that you're just chilling there and then, like, presumably call the police on you for being a vagrant. For being a chillin' vagrant. For being a chillin' vagrant. No matter how, like, disquiet takes seconds to sink in. All it takes is for a couple of bros playing, uh, playing, uh, uh, ultimate frisbee for too long to be like, fuck this guy, let's go, let's go kick him out of them our park. <laughs> a 
A Promethean with autonomic control can go for a number of days equal to their resolve plus twice their stamina before suffering uh, d uh, before suffering deprivation from sleep. This also gets multiplied by if by any dots you have in iron stamina. Oh, you know where I'm gonna go? Where I'm gonna, gonna go, go to the wall. Where did you say the mall? The warehouse. Oh, okay. It is completely empty. You are free to just you can spend your days in peace there. Sweet. Catnap. Unfortunately, the warehouse is not haunted. You do, you do not get any special dream bonuses. What was that, Marty? Oh, just flop down, face down in a giant empty warehouse. <laughs> Sleep. So do much leg. Roll. Just do it. In any event, um, do any of you else have anything else you'd like to do before you go to the park to meet Great Grandfather Crow? Uh, continue gathering corpses for him. Uh, roll me that sweet, sweet, um, dexterity plus survival footage. Ugh. Just dropped one down my sleeve. One success. Congratulations. You are able to find one dead squirrel. Yeah. It has been mostly picked clean by a cat or a person or something, but, you know, whatever. Roadkill is roadkill. Exactly. It doesn't have to be in good condition. Let us seek the grandfather. So do you guys all meet up at the park? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Fantastic. So you guys all meet up in the park. Uh, do you guys go to the bathroom? Uh -huh. yeah. Um, there is someone there waiting for you. A human-shaped something. For the crocodile head. For the crocodile head. No. Oh. Um, uh, he is um, strikingly handsome. Uh, like, first blush. Super pretty. And, um, like, you know what? No, fuck it. It's, 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 it's a female. Strikingly pretty. Uh, and she is, like, staring at the graffiti on the wall. And, um, she's wearing, uh, no shoes. A plain, like, the plainest white dress. And when she turns to look at you all, it doesn't make, it makes it like her neck makes a grinding sound. Ooh. She's been made out of marble. Whoa. Like a living statue. What are you guys doing here? Meeting someone. Well, it's a little rude to intrude on someone's house. The public bathroom. Well, it's not public anymore. It's mine. Hi. She uh, she produces a, a a can of spray paint from somewhere. Should I write my name on it? That's what people do when they claim ownership of something, right? Is the spray paint can green? It's very green. Actually, it's completely unlabeled. Which is strange in and of itself. Yeah, what's, uh, what's your name? I'm Rain. She smiles. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Damn straight, I was about to say, when, when, when is one of you motherfuckers gonna back me up?
Unlikely combination of hair, eyes, and skin. Cannot see oneself. In any event, um... Whoop. Oh god. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for it. She, uh, reaches forward and, like, extends a fist toward Rain. My name is Jib. Rain isn't really sure, so she fist bumps her. And she, like, she, she stares at her fist and she's like, Yes. She's got this, she's beaming with pride. She has managed successfully to execute a fist bump, the most complex social maneuver that she has ever attempted. <laughs> oh, so you left the message earlier. Apparently, I have no memory of writing it. When I when I pulled the uh, paint scrap off the wall, it wasn't tacky, was it? Like it wasn't brand new. Uh, no. Okay. Like it's mostly a wall scraping with paint on it. Okay. Well, you must have left this a while ago. Do you remember being here at all? Call. Oh look, now there's another one. It says Great Grandfather Crow. As he flaps in. What does my aura sight see about her, about Jib? Uh, ooh. Break that delicious, delicious roll. And subtract two dice. What um, is it? Intelligence, composure, and empathy. And subtract two dice? Uh, yes. Okay. One success. One success. Ah, uh, goddamn it! Fuck. Uh, PDFs, please. Thank you. Subject is drugged. Um. Let me see. Ha! 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 Um. Jib has a bright green fiery aura. She is a Promethean, obviously, and she is obsessed with something. Mm. Hmm. So, Jib, why are you so focused on this being your home? Because I don't remember writing this. And it's not the first time this has happened. Uh -huh. That phrase, like, I do this a lot. I like to leave messages behind for people. I like to leave um, marks, you know, pilgrims marks around just so that people don't get caught out in bad situations. Um, but... I sometimes leave marks behind that say the fire of our hearts before I write my name, which is also something I just don't do. And I don't know why or how. And it's just upsetting. You ain't had any weird, strange experiences in the town leading up to this? Nothing in particular, no. Uh, Drax, I don't know if I'm going to be metagaming if I if I point out that uh, what I think fire in our hearts possibly means. I mean, go for it. Like, the, Jordan can make an assumption. Hearts. I think the fire in our hearts probably means. Prometheans in general or specifically maybe specific Prometheans 
I don't know. But definitely Prometheus. Yeah, that makes sense, but I don't know... I don't know why I write these messages. I write... I leave other marks for us people all the time. First time I've ever met any of you before. I mean, other Prometheans. I didn't think that I was the only one. Ever since I had... I found... Uh, I was walking through the subway system and I found a series of marks on the walls and they all had little written meetings uh, some of them were just had question marks all over them I don't know who left them there but that's how I learned the pilgrim's code hmm. I'd be interested in learning this pilgrim's code as well I feel like that knowledge would be very valuable Creek run for the crow pipes up. Yeah, that's great. We can do that some other time. Uh, right now, something's going on in the city. What's going on? You know how I came here? Yeah. Someone else or something else is on their way. Oh, I thought you were... Th okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And yes. you know where they where they're coming? Uh I know the rough location. Yeah. Um I mean I could show it to you. I could take you there. But um well if it's not too far away. It's incredibly far away actually. Do you guys have a car or something or are we just going to have to walk the whole way there? Uh yeah, I got myself a uh points towards the parking lot. Uh, the cab. Uh, oh. One, two, Thank three, you. four. Um, is there enough room in the back seat? About three spaces. We'll be real close friends. Willis somehow manages to fit all of himself into the driver's seat this time. <laughs> well, I think that's a that's a satisfactory pile of mysteries. What do you guys think? Yeah. I'm incredibly mysteried. Spooky beast on the horizon. Too spooky. All right. I thought the crow was going to be the spooky, spooky five me. I mean, this crow is kind of a spooky beast, but there are also all sorts of spooky beasts, and you guys just keep running into them with startling efficiency. <laughs> so, uh, y'all get three experience points for a good session. Everybody vote for bonus XP. I vote well, no, well, I give you one bonus card. XP as the DM for scaring the crap out of Cap and I. Yeah. No, he'll spend it on monsters. I, I, I will. I can do that. The spi at spider party. If the spider party gets XP, then that makes the villains tougher. <laughs> we can handle it. We're tough. That's Speak what they for all yourself. say. <laughs> I don't have an Azoth hammer. <laughs> mm. Well, good session, fam. It was fun playing with you guys. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I vote my bonus XP for Rain for getting me out the fuck of that warehouse. <laughs> That's true. Had she not done that, you'd have kind of been stuck in there. Or you could have tried running out of another window inside, but that would have been tricky. <laughs> yeah, I'll vote that. Oh, uh, yeah, third. Holla. <laughs> Rain gets a bonus experience point. Woohoo! I mean, it's the first session, so, like, I don't think anybody did any particularly, uh particularly in refinement things, but that's okay. Like, you don't reach your milestone oh. in the first session. Yeah. Um, but... Next session when I'm not fucking dying. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. So, thank you very much for bringing all you sick asses to the computer box, <laughs> and I hope that you all have a wonderful evening. You too! Thank have you a good night. running the game. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone.